So let's focus in on the offensive line. You mentioned nine of 11 starters coming back, and that even includes if uh, Luke Del Rio uh, does not uh, get the starting spot. So uh, you lose one offensive lineman, you got four coming back. Uh, is it is it that simple that uh, the offensive line should be that much better with four guys coming back out of five? Or is there more mixing and matching to do? Because we know that the offensive line, unlike any other unit on the field, guys move from different positions. You, you're trying to get not just the best five guys out there, but the best unit out there. So are there still questions out there along the offensive front? Now, the biggest question will be replacing the starter that left last year, David Sharp. Martez Ivy will sl now slide out uh, to left tackle. Everybody knows he was a five-star recruit coming in. Uh, so, you know, he'll get his chance at, at left tackle now. But then we saw some, you know, some of last year with uh, T.J. McCoy. He came in uh, mid, uh, kind of almost after midway through the season, uh, and started at center and looked really good playing center. So Florida has something to build on on there. And then Jawan Taylor at right tackle. Uh, Fred Johnson started at right tackle last year. Uh, couldn't get the job done. They threw in a true freshman and Jawan Taylor at right tackle, and he looked uh, you know, very much the part. Uh, so, you know, that was three positions right there. If you want to go left tackle, center, right tackle, you know, that's the way, you know, Florida's going to build on this offensive line. The, the interior of the offensive line at, at guard play with you know, Tyler Jordan, Andrew Mike, Nick Buchanan, uh, Brandon Sanifer, Antonio Riles, who will uh, – he'll miss spring. So, you know, Florida still has some questions at the guard position, but at left tackle, center, and right tackle, they're pretty much set. Uh, so, you know, you've got numbers. I mean, Mark, you remember when we were kidding around when Michael Wayne kind of had his Disney turnstile joke with his offensive line, and two seasons ago could only hold a spring practice with six offensive linemen. The numbers are finally there. Uh, so now it's just about getting uh, a rapport with also a new offensive line coach, Brad Davis, coming in. Uh, so it's the, a lot of moving parts as far as guard play, I think, and also a new offensive line coming in. But where you want to be set at both tackle positions and at center, Florida is set. So they know what they got going there. So it's really just about now getting rapport, getting better, getting some depth uh, at, at key positions. But, you know, Florida couldn't really ask for a better position right now, only having replaced David Sharp. 